Hello everyone. Welcome to the Masters PU College. I am Balaji Rao, lecturer in mathematics. In last class, we learned about definition of logarithm and we done few examples to understand the definition of logarithm. In last class, we learned the definition of logarithm with examples. In this class, we will learn the properties of logarithms with their proofs. Total nine properties are there, and this is the first property. What is the first property? Log one base y is zero. Log one base y value is zero. Here, what is y? Y is a positive real number, and a value not equal to one. Okay, so this result holds good when a is greater than zero and a not equal to one. So we will see the proof of this result from law of indices. We know this formula. What is that formula? A power zero value is one. See, we learn this in laws of indices. A power zero value is one when a is not equal to zero. What is zero power zero? Zero power zero is not defined. So here, a power zero, two power zero, one, three power zero, one, four power zero, one, zero power zero. It is not defined. So we know this formula. A power zero is one when a is not equal to zero. Here we know that a is greater than zero. That means a is not equal to zero. So we know this result from laws of indices. What is that result? A power zero equal to one. From the definition of logarithm, what we learn in last class, we learn that whenever you see an expression of the form a power x equal to b, then x is called x can be written as log b base y. X can be written as log b base y. This is what we learn in last class. So here you observe, you compare this one and this one. Write it in logarithm form. Here it is in the form of a power x equal to b. So zero is called. What is zero is called? Zero is called logarithm of one to the base y. Simply we write zero equal to log one base y. I hope you got the point. We proved the result. What is the result? Therefore we proved that log one base y is zero. From now onwards, we use this property as formula. For example, uh, suppose log one base two is there. What is the value of log one base two? As per this property, its value will be zero. Directly, you can write. From now onwards, we use this property as formula. And you see, log one base five. What is log one base five value? Log one base five value is zero. Log one base hundred. What is its value? Its value is also zero. So what you learn here, log one base y is zero. Similarly, you see here log one base one. What is its value? Its value is not defined. Please try to understand. Not defined because this formula works only when this a is greater than zero and a not equal to one. Here what happened here? Here base equal to one. Since uh, why it is not defined? Since uh, a is equal to one. So here a cannot be equal to one, as a equal to one, log one base one value is not defined. I hope you are understanding. You see this second property. What is the second property? Log a base y value is one. Log a base y value is one. Here what is a? A is a positive real number, and as a is in this base, a cannot be equal to one. So I'll do the proof of this result. You know this result. What is a power one? A power one is nothing but a only. It is very easy. Two power one is two. Three power one is three. Like that, a power one is a. So from the definition of logarithm, what we learn, we learn that if you see a power x equal to b, then x can be written as log b base y. Correct. So here, a power one equal to a. You compare this one with this a power x equal to b. Then what it can be written as? It can be written as one equal to log a. Base y. I hope you are understanding. We got the result. What is the result here? Therefore, log y base y equal to one. From now onwards, we use this property as a formula. For example, you see log two base two. What is the value of log two base two? We know that log y base y value is one. So what is log two base two? Log two base two is one. Log three base three. What is log three base three value? It is one. Log hundred base hundred. What is its value? We know that log a base a value is one. And you remember that here a must be positive real number and a not equal to one. Third property. Let 
m comma n are two positive real numbers what are m and n they are two positive real numbers and what about a a is positive real number and a not equal to 1 in such case this formula this property works good log mn base a can be written as log m base a plus log n base a we will prove this property now to prove this property first i'll consider this log m base a as x log m base a you consider this log m base a as x and you consider this log n base a as y how we write this in exponent form you observe here how we write this in exponent form base what is base here a a power x equal to b like that how we can write this in into exponent form yes how we write a yes you take this base a power x equal to m good similarly how we can write this into exponent form a power y equal to n okay i want to prove this result to prove this result i'll just multiply these two things like a power x into a power y what is a power x a power x is m into what is a power y a power y is n as we know here bases are equal power should be equated what is a power x into a power y that is a power x plus y equal to m into n is nothing but mn okay now you observe it is of which form observe this carefully imagine a you imagine this as x this x plus y as x a power x equal to you imagine this as b this is of which form a power x equal to b form so from the definition of logarithm it can be written as x equal to log b base a so what this can be written as this can be written as x plus y equal to log mn base a i hope you are understanding okay here what is x you observe here i considered log m base a as x so in place of x i'll write that only log m base a plus what is y i considered log n base a as y log n base a equal to uh, in place of x i written plus in place of y i written this equal to log mn base a you observe here we proved that result log mn base a equal to log m base a plus log n base a therefore i'll conclude what is this property this property is log mn base a equal to log m base a plus log n base a okay fourth property it is similar to third property you observe m comma n are two positive real numbers a greater than 0 and a not equal to 1 then log m by n base a third property is what log mn base a what is fourth property log m by n base a log m by n base a is log m base a minus log n base a we need to prove this result to prove this result i considered log m base a as x like earlier property only i considered log m base a as x and log n base a as y as per the definition this can be written as a power x equal to m and a power y equal to n to get this result what i'll do i'll consider a power x divided by a power y just to get the answer what is a power x a power x is m divided by what is a power y a power y is n so in loss of indices we learn this formula a power m divided by a power n what is the formula in loss of indices that is a power m minus n correct so please observe here a power x divided by a power y is what a power x minus y equal to m divided by n i hope you are understanding now if you observe this it is of which form a you imagine this as x a power x you imagine this as b this expression is of the form a power x equal to b a power x equal to b 
whenever from the definition we learned that whenever you see a power x equal to b we can write x equal to log b base a from the definition of logarithm so here what it can be written as it can be written as x minus y equal to log m by n base a i hope you are understanding what is x i considered log m base a as x so in place of x i'll write log m base a minus in place of y what i can write i'll write log n base a equal to log m by n base a you observe here we proved this result log m by n base a can be written as log m base a minus log n base a i'll conclude therefore logarithm of m by n base a is what this is nothing but log m base a minus log n base a